catch it there. And look at him go. Fitzroy now with the ball back into attack. Down towards their center half. In this club, nobody plays by the rules. You know them times when uh, you're half a yard behind your man? Sign here on the last page, Jeff. He's going for the ball. Now, there's no way in the world you're going to stop him, right? It's not enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Just as he leaves the ground. Just sign the thing, Jeff. Well, it's as Jeff, good as you. Not until I get more money. How much more money? Get your thumb. 10,000. I'll pay it personally. Ram it up his bum. <laughs> oh, it works every time. <laughs> I won't be told how to do my job by the owner of some meat pie factory who's never played a game of football in his life. What's the meaning of taking Jeff Hayward on? What's the meaning of you telling me how to run the game? Do you know what I've been thinking? Let's stop trying to appease the bastard and sack him. They say he was a great player. Oh, yes, and my aunt makes great scones. It doesn't mean she should run a cake factory. Committee will. Stick by me to a man. Want to bet? Stake my life on it. Then you're a dead man. That's going to be your last year anyway, smart ass. We're getting ourselves a real coach around here next year, thank Christ. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, you roll your own, do you? You're in the big league now, Jeff, and you're scared. Scared you're not half as good a footballer as you bloody thought you were. All right. If you really want to know what's going on is that I'm sick to death of football and I couldn't care less whether I never play another game in my life. It's a lot of macho competitive bullshit. Football shits me. Look, if I'm going out there to risk a fractured skull or a ruptured spleen for the amusement of a pack of overweight drunks in the grandstand I'm bar, then I want to get paid for it. Oh, sir, that's what you think of your supporters, eh? Well, what gives you the right to sit in judgment on me, you fat turd? Don't get back Talk to the to fight, me like that, You get back to calm down. Loyalty to any one individual is a luxury we can't afford in a business with a multi-million dollar turnover. Look, Laurie, I'm going to tell you something in the strictest confidence. You can afford to be generous to Ted, because you're not going to be around here much longer. What's he done? Can't tell you anything. Except it's dynamite. Then a bounce again. Bombing with playing poorly at the, the moment. Makers of Breaker Morant now like bring you a story of games people play. That's true, isn't it, Jerry? No. On Monday, Danny Clark turned 18. Birthday. On Tuesday, his inheritance arrived. Happy birthday, son. That's awesome. On Wednesday, he fell in love. Uh, why would I want to go out with him? On Thursday, he was an emotional wreck. But on Friday, Danny had an idea. Well, I'll pick up my new car. Huh? I'm not really into cars. Well, it's a Jaguar. I told her I got a Jaguar. Well, it was in the heat of the moment. But I still go out with him. Desperate times take desperate measures. They're not buying a car. They're buying a piece of motoring history. Now, with the car of his dreams and a date with Joanna... And don't you try touching her breasts. ...what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Apart from everything. I think our Daniel is a very fine young man. He should be locked up. Low in here, sir. Whoops! Wrong him. Gordon! From the makers of Malcolm, the big steal. Daddy's gonna kill you. Yeah, I know. I... Joanna and the Jaguar. <laughs> It'll steal your heart away. The big steal. <laughs> Winner of nine AFI Award nominations, including Best Film, Best Actor and Best Actress.